Hey everybody, Logan here. And, well, I hope you're ready for that second unboxing. Well, that's if you saw that short I posted the other day with the two new controllers, this being the second of the two videos, being that PlayStation DualSense Camo. I had to get this controller. Uh, I just really like the design on this one. It's different than all the other PlayStation ones that have come out. I have all the others. Um, I've decided to pick up all those colors because I really like the DualSense uh, controller. I think this is the best controller Sony's ever put out. And with this color and with the, the design, I had to pick it up. So I saw this at Target. And yes, if you're wondering what this thing is on the top, it's their weird security device that they don't take off. And they're like, no, nope, they just leave them on. And I find that very weird. This is the second controller I bought that has this thing on the top. And they're like, no, I'm like, hey, isn't that a kind of a bit of waste? Isn't it? Is it disposable? And they didn't really care it is what it is. But I found it. It was the last one. My wife said, go ahead and get it. So I was like, yeah, because you guys like when I unbox and take a look at these controllers, whether it's Sony or Microsoft or Nintendo, you guys love these controller unboxings. So I do them. I buy them, but I use these controllers. And I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to shut up now. I've been rambling on too much. Let's hit that intro and then open up this sucker. Welcome to Rip and Data Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose. Rip and Data Gaming is here for you. Alrighty, so here we go. Here is the new camo. DualSense wireless controller for the PS5. As you can see, the box looks pretty much identical to the previous ones. Has everything, the haptic feedback, the adaptive triggers, built-in microphone, signature comfort, heighten your senses. Contents, that is the controller code. I guess the, the model. DualSense wireless controller, gray camouflage. -y. Yes, camouflage uh, instruction manual. So nothing fancy in there. But like I said, Target left this on. Second time I bought, I think the other one was a PlayStation controller as well. Um, they say they're security devices, but I guess they're, there's no alarm or anything in it. I don't know why they do that. They said, yeah, they just leave them in. It's whatever it is what it is. The only thing that sucks, but this thing, I take this little thing out anyway. And you'll see why. So let me open that up. Put the little knifey knifey. That bothers me right there. See, I can't get that out. And then the thing is the way they have it latched in there. So, oh, let's see. Okay, that is a problem, Sony. I shouldn't say Sony, I should say Target, because I don't want to damage the box. I really don't want to damage this box. So, let us take my fancy little, my tiny little knife here. Hopefully this works and I will just use the, the skizzers. There we go. Nope. There we go. So look at that, I have to cut that thing off. Huh. Bit of a pain that is. So I don't destroy the box because I like to keep these boxes because they're nice. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Now, let's see. Can the camera zoom in on that? Yes, it can. It can clear up right there. Now, you see in the light gray, you see the triangle circle X square pattern. 
in the very light gray. I think that is nifty. I do like this design. Oh, so the back, the back is just a solid gray. Uh, that's the one thing that bothers me when they do this. Sony and Microsoft are both notorious and guilty of this. Nintendo is as well. They don't wrap the color or the design all the way around through the body. And that's the only thing that really bothers me. Here, it's okay. I get it because the back is a textured piece while the front is not. So that's like their scapegoat or whatever you want to call it. But the stick is, the, the sticks are still fine. The buttons uh, okay, seem to be pressing fine. Same thing with the pad. Oh, yeah, they all press fine. Now, just like all the others, I don't think I'm going to be changing this out, this faceplate, like I have with my standard blue one, where you can see I've added caps, but I change this out from black to gray because it matches the design on the buttons. I think this one looks perfect with the black because I like the black buttons. Uh, if I ever did anything, I'd put a... I guess that's, oh, that looks like a light gray, but I wouldn't want to conflict with the grays, not even a white. I would leave this exactly the way it is. This is probably gonna be my new standard controller because I really like this design. And again, that texture uh, is really nice. It's super smooth. And then the design, the little, the triangle circle like square design I think is really nice too. It's really super smooth compared to the other one. Yeah, it's, it's a little smoother. Definitely a bit smoother. I like that. It's nice. It's a very comfortable controller. But the DualSense is a great controller. I think it's the best controller out right now. If Microsoft came out with something similar, which had the haptic feedback and the tension in the triggers, uh, I think would be fantastic. I love the mic in it. I always have. Even, you know, the first one to do that. Was that the Wii? The Wii was the first one with a mic. I always thought that was a, uh, the mic and the speaker. I thought that was a cool feature. I love how they tone down the light bar. It's no longer annoying. And the touchpad just... <laughs> it's useless in most games, but it's a cool feature. And, um, I don't know. I just like the way this controller feels compared to the PS4. I think it's a much better controller. I think this Sony's, again... I think this is their best design controller to date. There's nothing like the original, but this one, this one's just a solid controller. And this is a great design, great color. Tell me what you guys think. Did you pick this one up? Have you ordered it? Uh, apparently, I got it the day it came out in store. So lucky me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Remember to follow us on our socials at Red Bandana Gaming on Facebook and Instagram and at RBG underscore retro on Twitter where we tweet all the tweets. And thank you guys so much again. Hit that subscribe button and like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.